Hi, I'm Tom and today I'm going to show you how to set up your RT6-1000 ready for deployment. You'll need at least two RT6-1000s, one to deploy a subsea and one to use as a topside controller to recover it. An Android NFC enabled device, release nuts, shackles, ropes and optionally a marker buoy and float for larger payloads. The first thing you need to do is check your RT6-1000 for any signs of damage, mishandling or leakages. All RT6-1000s are shipped with their batteries electronically disconnected. So before you do anything with the unit, you have to first connect the battery. This can be done using the RT6 app installed on any NFC enabled Android device. On your NFC device, open the RT6 app. Place your device above the RT6-1000 transducer and tap configure and then connect. You should automatically get confirmation that the battery is connected. If not, tap check to update you can now exit to the main menu. So now we've connected the battery and confirmed that connection, it's time now to check the charge of the battery. A good battery should have a voltage of around seven and a half volts, whilst an end of life battery is about four and a half volts. Here's how to check the battery using the app. Tap quick check and then tap get. The battery voltage will be displayed inside the battery icon. The final test is to check that the RT6-1000 is working correctly. Tap quick check again then tap get and then tap test. You'll get a notification if the test has been successful and this means your RT6-1000 is in full working order. If you deploy more than one RT6-1000 you'll need to make a note of which one is which so that you don't release the wrong one inadvertently. So you'll need to record the unit ID and the address. To find this out, use the app, tap quick check and then get. If you want to change the address, well that's easy, here's how. Tap configure and then change address. Tap the new address box and select the new address from the options. To confirm the settings, tap set. Now we've connected the battery, we tested the voltage and we set the address, we're almost ready to deploy the RT6-1000. The last thing we need to do is load the release nut. You've got a bag of 10 release nuts with every RT6-1000 and to load this, go to the app and select Deploy. Tap Deploy and then Get. You'll be able to check that the unit ID and address are correct. Press Next, then tap Load Nut. You'll hear the release mechanism start to turn. Hold the release nut to the thread on the bottom of the RT6-1000 to steady it as it winds its way on. The unit will stop automatically once the nut is loaded. Make sure to visually check the nut is loaded correctly and not cross-threaded during loading. Do not deploy the RT6-1000 unless the release nut is loaded properly as the integrity of the transponder may be compromised. Remember to make sure that when you deploy your RT6-1000 there's enough buoyancy to keep it pointing upwards and ultimately lift it and its payload back to the surface. We recommend that you use at least 8 kilograms of buoyancy. Attach a sinker weight to the RT6-1000 by tying it to the release nut. Ensure that the weight is heavy enough to counteract the buoyancy that you've already added. Overcome the effects of any tidal currents that may be present and hold this position on the seabed. To make it easier to relocate your payload, you can use your RT6 app to record the location. Tap on map and then add waypoint. You can name your RT6-1000. This is helpful if you're deploying multiple releases. You can either use the unit addresses or your own naming convention if you choose. We hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. You can find out more information about the RT6-1000 on our website. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out what's new at Sonodyne. Thanks for watching.